everyone, it's Steph. This is The Novelty Corner and welcome to a book haul revisited video. If you are new here, I film one of these bi-monthly where I talk about the books that I acquired 12 months earlier and I talk about what I've kept, hauled, unhauled and what I have yet to read. And what I have yet to read forms the basis of my TBR for the next two months. So this is my book haul revisited for March and April 2020. It's actually probably one of the smallest book haul revisited videos that we'll have for the next 12 months because, you know, last year was just click happy spending buying books to make myself feel better. But this was before all of that started happening. So the book pile is, is pretty small, but I find it interesting to see and reflect on what I acquired and what I read and what I have unhauled and what I still have yet to read. So let's dive into it. I'm only going to be talking about 16 books this month. There is nothing that I unhauled unread this month, which is great. It means that even if I unhauled something, I've I had read it. So in the second category, which is the read and unhauled category, there are four books. The first is Deep Water by Sarah Epstein. This is a Australian young adult thriller novel, which I read and I really enjoyed. I actually passed this one on to my mum because I knew that she would enjoy it. I also read Cloudburst by Wilbur Smith. This was a book that was sent to me unsolicited for review. It was not my favourite, but I have taken it in to work and it is sort of closer to a older middle grade, younger YA story and it was an adventure story. I also had The Viennese Girl by Jenny Lacote. This was another unsolicited review copy, I believe. It was a World War II historical romance novel. World War II historical romance novels aren't my favourite, but I do enjoy a World War II story. So I enjoyed that aspect of it. I just wasn't completely sold on the romance. And I also had a review copy of Who We Were by B.M. Carroll. This is an Australian domestic thriller, I believe. And it followed a group of adults who are returning to their high school reunion. And in the lead up to the reunion, someone is revealing all of these secrets about all of these people who are friends, but are not really friends. Then I had eight books that I read and kept. The first one is the middle grade. It is The Year the Maps Changed by Danielle Binks. This is set in the late 1990s in Sorrento in Victoria, which is my home state. It is about a little girl whose family dynamics are changing. Her family is not your usual nuclear family. And she is in year six at school. She is learning about the Kosovar Albanian refugees who are being sent to Australia for safety. And it has a real humanitarian aspect to it, a real social justice aspect. It is a great, great story. Danielle Binks is a fantastic author, well worth checking out. I also have Grave Witch by Kalena Price. This one was sent to me. And this one is a paranormal slash paranormal romance story, which has a really kick-ass female heroine. Death is a character in the book and that's pretty much what I love about it. Those are buzzwords for me, for sure. I acquired Heartstopper Volume 3, which is a gorgeous, gorgeous male male contemporary romance graphic novel series. If you haven't heard of this, definitely do yourself a favour and check out the series. It is just fantastic and you can read it online for free as a webcomic, but I like reading it in the graphic Binder. March and April were the months that I purchased my own physical copies of The Dry and Force of Nature by Jane Harper. These are Australian crime novels. They are fantastic. If you haven't tried Jane Harper, definitely do. She is incredible. The Dry has been made into a film. I've seen it. It's great. And it's also got a US release date now, which I'm so excited about. Eric Banner is in it. If you're in the States and you get a chance to see it, definitely do. It is a great piece of Australian cinema. I also had Fool Me Once by Carly Lane. Carly Lane writes Australian rural romance stories and this one was pretty fun as well. And this one starts at a BNS ball and has a lot of complicated relationship dynamics in it. I acquired House of Earth and Blood by Sarah J Mass. This is the first book in the Crescent City series and I think I finally got the series title and the book title in the right order. It's Sarah J Mass. Everyone and their mother knows about this book. And the last book that I read and kept was Aurora Burning by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. This is the second book in the Aurora cycle. This series is not doing the same things for me that Illuminate did, but it is still enjoyable and I like a lot of the characters. So I keep reading because of that. I had three books that I read and took to school. They were picture books. So the first one was Bad Cat by Nicola Byrne, which is the story of a very grumpy cat who gets into lots and lots of trouble at home and it is adorable. I had The Girl from the Sea by Margaret Wilde, which is a very haunting ghost-like story and has very thought-provoking imagery to go along with Margaret Wilde's writing. And I also had The Astronaut's Cat by Toby Riddle, which was a really beautiful story for 2020 because it was about an astronaut and a cat living on the moon and the cat looks outside the window and can't go outside because it's the moon and there's no gravity or air for it to breathe. And it wonders what's on the other side of the doors and the windows. And it was just very timely for lockdown last year, but it is a gorgeous book. And then there is one book left from 
a March and April acquisitions that I have not yet read and that is Call of the Raven by Wilbur Smith. This was sent to me unsolicited so I am going to read it. I am not entirely sure Wilbur Smith is for me but I'm going to give this one a shot given that it's an adult novel and we will see how we go. I still don't know all that much about it. So that is everything that I acquired, hauled, unhauled, read, didn't read, etc. in March and April of 2020. I'm feeling pretty good because there's only one book that I have to read in the next two months from that list. So hopefully I can start tackling some of the future months because there are a lot more books because yeah, once lockdown got started in earnest, I got very click happy with books. That's coming up in the next couple of months. Stay tuned. If you have read any of these books, feel free to discuss them with me in the comments. Otherwise, I hope that wherever you are in the world, you are staying safe and healthy and I will see you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye everyone.